five. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about my top five stocks that I'm going to be watching this week for either swing trading or day trading. So there's been a lot of movement in the market and uh, the stocks that I have on this list have seen tremendous amount of movement. So that's why I, I have them. So we're gonna cover those. But uh, before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, we've gone through what I call the slums of the market. So the market usually in the month of uh, August is usually slow, not a whole lot of action. Um, even from an earning standpoint, when uh, the top earning companies or, or the top companies have already put out their earnings. And so we're going through this phase where it's a little bit slow. Um, but Again, there's still a, a tremendous amount of opportunities uh, in this uh, market. So the stocks that we're gonna cover here, uh, again, like I said, these are ones that would give you an opportunity to either day trade or to swing trade. So if you're looking for in it, uh, for one of those, and then you should be able to find something in this list that would benefit you. Uh, just again, this is my personal list, and I'm gonna be looking at the stocks, uh, making sure that they fit my criteria before I would get into the stock. So don't just jump in the stock just because you wanna jump in, jump because it fits your trading or your investing criteria before you can get in. So let's jump right in here, take a look and see. So the first one again on my list here is Affirm. And the reason why I have Affirm on this list is because um, Affirm recently uh, confirmed that they have a partnership with Amazon uh, to do the buy now, pay later service. So this stock just kind of went crazy. So uh, again, if you can see here this chart, this is a firm trading as of last Friday um, during the day. And then see, it was pretty flat. Then this news came out, a firm went from $67 and skyrocketed all the way to over 100, like $102 uh, before pulling back a little bit. So I anticipate a little bit of movement in this stock this week. So that's one that I have right there at number one. Uh, number two would be Vinco Venture. Uh, this is a this is a NFT company, so uh, I'm not putting a lot of stock in here in terms of hey I want to buy and hold this long term. Nope, this is strictly day trading for me. Uh, the company doesn't fit my mold of uh, long term investing, so I'm gonna trade opportunity here. So again, if we look at the the stock here, um, just Friday this thing was up close to about eighty. You can see here eighty one percent. Again, it's, it's a stock that we're still watching. If you see after hours on Friday, it continued to squeeze all the way up. So if we take the five, just kind of like a five day as of last week, this thing is up, up 109%. So I see momentum to the upside. So this is one that you can actually trade. So get in, um, put a tight stop loss, and if it keeps going up, and then you can actually uh, follow that and with your with your stop loss and secure profit as you go. So again, that's number two. Number three on my list is Meta Material. I've covered this one on the channel tell you guys why I think about this one moving forward. There's some opportunities here. But again, this stock has taken a massive beating uh, when they finished their, uh, or when they closed their merger. The stock went from trading to uh, somewhere around $7 and, and, and then pulled back to under, to, to under $3 which is so ridiculous. So again, but we see that as of Friday, the stock started squeezing back to the upside and we didn't really have um, any specific information that was pushing the stock to the upside. So I believe that this, this stock is heavily shorted. So you can see uh, Reddit folks and, and uh, social media or retail investors can jump on this one and, and put a short squeeze on this one. So definitely uh, keep your eye on this one. And then the, 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 the I think yeah, the third on my list here is, oh. then number four on my list here is support.com. So support.com has gone through some crazy squeezes. So let's just look at the chart here so you guys can actually see what I'm saying. So if you go five days here, this thing went from, look at that, this is August 23rd. This stock went from under $10 and squeezed all the way to a high of about $59. This thing doesn't really show it here, but it went to a high of $59. Uh, before pulling back. So this is within five days. 
and then so see it's pulled back now sitting somewhere at 26 dollars so i believe if it's a short squeeze and we've seen companies like uh amc gamestop go through this phase usually you have this massive explosion and then pull back consolidate and then skyrocket again pull back consolidate and skyrocket so that might be what support.com is actually doing right now but again you can see this thing pull back to where it came from so be very cautious when you trade the one and last but not the least cassava sciences this is one that is really really interesting um this is a, a pharmaceutical company and they are working on a, a alzheimer drug and what they are currently doing is they're doing um uh, kind of a test or a trial phase of their drug and supposedly somebody anonymous filed a, a complaint or a citizen complaint that they, what they were doing wasn't right or they were lying about the numbers they were getting from their trier. So look at what happened to the stock. So Cassava Sciences just completely crumbled. Let's go here five weeks so you guys can actually see. Look at the chart here and see how this thing happened. We're talking about here, this is August 24th. We're trading at $122. These bad news came out. It pulled the stock down to $83. And then it squeezed back up to 90 something and then continued to fall. Look at that knife all the way to, it went as, as low as $51. And now currently, uh, when we were doing this video, is right now at $58. Um, again, after hours, it actually dropped to $57. So um, from my experience with Cassava Sciences, each time they've tried knocking the stock, the stock has bounced back and bounced even better. So it's actually be like each time it, it pulls back, it will rob it in the face of the people that are trying to pull the stock down, which I enjoy uh, watching. So this one, this is be a swing candidate for me. I'm going to watch this week and see if this thing continues to pull back a little bit and I'll just palm the brakes. But if I see some signs of a reverser, then I'm going to go long. Uh, hopefully get that squeeze even to 70, 80, 90 dollars and then I can start securing some profit. So this is a definitely uh, a swing candidate. Uh, again, this stock, like I said, is a pharmaceutical company and they're working on uh, an Alzheimer medication. They're going through trials right now and somebody has filed uh, complaints about numbers that they have. So, and this person doesn't want to really identify themselves. So they're filing the complaint anonymous. So I don't know if their motive is to try to help people with Alzheimer's or to try to stop the company because they have a competition with them. So I don't really know the details, but I just know that somebody filed a complaint and that's why the stock took a beating here. So again, just a quick recap here. Top five stocks I'm gonna be watching this week. Affirm is number one. Number two is uh, Vinco. Number three is Meta Material. Number four is Support. And number five is Cassava Sciences. Again, ticket symbols here are Affirm AFRM. Vinco is BBIG, Meta Material MMAT, and then support.com SPRT, and finally Cassava Sciences SAVA. So those are the ones that I have my eye on this week. And again, guys, this is my personal uh, list. You might have something that differs from mine. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to be trading other stocks this week, guys. I'm going to be trading other stocks. Again, I'm going to be trading any opportunity that comes my way. But this one's I'm going to be laser focused here because there's a, a tremendous amount of opportunity here for me uh, from a string trade perspective as well as just from a day trade perspective. So I'm going to keep that. But again, I'm still going to keep an eye on my pre-market watch list. So when I look at my daily gappers, those are a tremendous amount of opportunities again for me to trade. So I'm going to use that in combination with this list and then see what happens to me this week. So hopefully uh, it turns out to be a good week for us. I'm going to be, you know, again, like I said, laser focus on this. Um, so we'll see what happens. So let me know in the comment section, what are you watching this, this week? Which stocks do you have on your radar for say day trading for swing trading or even investing long term? If you see the opportunity, let me know in the comment section. Again, sharing is caring. If you have a, a better list or you have a list or with a stock with some information that I didn't mention here, definitely share it because people out there can benefit from that information. If you have any questions, 
don't hesitate to leave them again in the comment section and i'll share again anything that i know if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and also if you are looking to get started with investing guys Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit five dollars you get free stocks links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated